So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, we have a graph question. It's a scatter plot. I just call these graph questions. So we'll see these typically on the SAT where you have kind of points around a line. That line is called the line of best fit. It doesn't go through the points. It kind of just gives you a general sense of the trend in which those points are headed. So the question here says the scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, X and Y. A line of best fit is also shown, which we see. The question goes on to say, which of the following equations best represents the line of best fit? Okay, so anytime I see equations for a line, I'm thinking y equals mx plus b. That's just standard for this test. Whenever you see the words equation and line, um, where m represents the slope, which is the rise over run. And B represents the y-intercept, which is basically where the line crosses the y-axis. So I like to start with B because that's usually the easiest to spot right away. This line, our line of best fit crosses the y-axis right here, basically right a little below 3, I would say. Um, so, you know, looking at the answer choices, it looks like I have a positive 2.8, a positive 2.8 a negative 2.8, a negative 2.8. So C and D are gone for me because obviously my y-intercept is not negative, it's positive, and 2.8 makes a lot of sense. So just based upon B value, I know that it's between, I'm sorry, my B value meaning my y-intercept, I know that that's between um, choice A and B for my options. Now looking at my slope, my slope is up, right? I'm rising and running, rise and run. So that's going to be a positive slope. Looks like I have the choice of having a positive slope here and a negative slope for choice B. So that means B is gone because it has a negative slope, which means choice A must be the correct answer. Um, obviously, there's other ways to answer this. You could have gone and figured out exactly what the slope really is. Um, looks like two points that I would have probably chosen if I were to have taken that path would have been here. This looks like it's super close to eight on the y-axis. And then maybe this one, which looks like it's super close to 15 on the y-axis, right? So I can say my rise here is seven and my run, so my rise here, I should say, is seven. And my run here goes from three to seven, which is four. So I'd have seven over four. You can go into your calculator and figure out what seven divided by four is and I get 1.75 which is close enough to 1.7 it's positive which means again I would have chosen a by doing that math there but I like the diagram method right where we can just eyeball where the y-intercept is and in this case eyeball that I want my slope to be positive so therefore a is the best answer here